From being amongst the first to discover the new world, to the invention of boats that rivalled the construction methods of the greatest naval fleets ever built, there appears to be a number of mysteries surrounding the ancient Viking culture that researchers are still trying to uncover in the modern day. Many of these mysteries centre around their technologies, their rituals, their culture, and even their mythology. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be going over five of these ancient Viking mysteries that scientists can't explain and what they might mean for future archaeological research. Delivery of an ancient Viking sword In early September 2017, two Norwegian hunters were making their usual journey on a hunting trip, tracking a cluster of migrating reindeer. It was when they made an unusual discovery in the permafrost of the tundra that quickly led to overwhelming media attention. One of the hunters remarked that he had spotted an old rusted sword, so quickly snapped a photo of him holding the weapon to post on his social media profile. The individual was not entirely aware of what he had found and believed the sword to have been a recent reproduction. This was because of the quality of the metal and the preservation of the sword only made it to appear to be a few years old. It wasn't until a team of researchers were alerted to find that the artefact could be identified as an authentic ancient Viking sword, with researchers saying at one time would have been wielded by an ancient Viking warrior. Less than a few days later, using state-of-the-art GPS devices, a special team of researchers went back to the region that was pinpointed and started searching the site for additional artefacts. The team included two members of the Secrets of the Ice team, a local metal detector enthusiast, a local archaeologist, and the original two reindeer hunters to assist with relocating the location of the discovery. They were hoping to uncover additional pieces of information related to the context of the original discovery. Unfortunately, the team was unable to locate any other artefacts in the region despite using a state-of-the-art metal detector. This led the researchers to conclude that the site was not a burial site and that the placement of the sword was done purposefully and with a reason that may have been personally significant to the person placing the sword. Though it does not seem likely that a warrior would have left behind his best sword, it appears to be the only explanation the researchers could provide. Today, there are still no explanations as to the reason for why the sword was left there in a perfectly preserved state. However, the discovery has helped researchers uncover the methods of metalwork for the Viking warriors, allowing us to uncover centuries of old secrets in the modern day. Viking Sunstone Compass It's no secret that the Scandinavians were seen as the greatest seafarers of their time, responsible for some of the most incredible navigation breakthroughs and land discoveries that many other nations refused to even attempt at the height of their power. The cause for their seafaring skills have often been a mystery. However, several researchers now believe that with the use of crystals, the ancient Viking people were capable of navigating the ocean. It's been said they were able to navigate through the snow and even when the sun and sky were not visible. Referred to as sunstones, the Vikings described using a number of small crystals to assist with the navigation even when the sun was not visible in the sky. The way this was accomplished was by holding the crystal up to the sky and moving the crystal around until it would show the position of the sun. Historians had first believed that the stories explaining the use of the sunstones as navigation were merely false and had no real bearing in navigation of any kind as no surviving instances of these sunstones were around today. However, researchers have begun to realise that by using polarising crystals, it's possible to find the location of the sun even when the sky is overcast and even when the sun is behind the horizon. This has led to researchers believing that perhaps the sunstones were these special crystalline structures, but that any new evidence to how they would work is still being researched and understood in the modern day. The Elfbert Swords Forged between 800 AD and 1000 AD were some of the most perfect swords ever created by our ancestors, especially when compared to other swords that were created all across the entire world. These Viking swords were designed with such high quality materials that many believe the swords held a number of mystical properties. These swords are known as Elfbert swords and were once even rumoured to be the same style of sword wielded by King Arthur when describing the creation of Excalibur. 
In the modern day, we are now aware that the alphabet swords are not just a legendary weapon, they are indeed real weapons that were incredibly rare to own and were seen as the most expensive piece of weaponry imaginable. This is due to their lack of any material imperfections of any kind. Researchers have uncovered that the alphabet swords, for reasons not entirely known, contain roughly three times more carbon compared to other swords of their era and contain no impurities. This means that the alphabet swords, due to their high traces of carbon, were far stronger, far more flexible and far lighter than any other sword made during their time. This is due to the fact that carbon, at the right amount, enhances the quality of the sword from being too soft or too brittle. The mystery surrounding the creation of this sword has to do with the fact that the researchers did not believe slag could be removed from the metal during this time. This is because it would require the iron ore to have been heated to 3000 degrees Fahrenheit just to reach the optimal temperatures to have removed such impurities. For comparison, such temperatures and iron forging were not available in the modern day until the advent of the Industrial Revolution. This has led many to speculate that not only were advanced technologies and techniques required to make a sword of this calibre, but that an air of mysticism would have had to have been involved to achieve such a strong metal that is both lighter, more flexible and stronger than any other weapon available during its time. What happened to the Vikings? Despite a number of incredibly successful invasions and raids made all across Europe by the year 1066, it appears that the Vikings completely disappeared from European record, as if they completely stopped making any advancements of any kind by that year. At first, researchers were completely baffled as to why the Viking conquest would end nearly overnight. A number of archaeologists began to work together to pore over old documents to better understand what transpired to have caused this disappearance of the Viking raids. When looking closer at the Viking lifestyle, it became obvious that though the Scandinavians were still expanding within their own areas and developing their civilization, the change of government led to the exchange of wealth, causing massive income inequalities all throughout Scandinavia. This meant that though the overall quality of life was raised, and everyone became wealthier, there were only a few that held a massive amount of wealth amongst themselves. Given the fact that raiding was more of a necessity for those living in poverty, there were less Vikings to be found, as the standard of living was raised. Additionally, due to the massive amount of income equality, very few were willing to make the substantial investment to construct fleets for invasions, as those with the money to make it happen were more than content with their wealth and saw very little reward in the raid. Although this doesn't help to explain the complete overnight change, it does help to shed more light on the changes across Scandinavia over the time, and how it impacted the culture, though exact reasons may never truly be known. Female Viking Warriors There have been a number of articles all across the internet from a number of reputable news sources that, unfortunately, give less than reputable information. The story centres around an ancient Viking discovery, where a number of archaeologists went back to a previously known gravesite that was believed to have been a Viking warrior grave. Researchers did a few DNA tests on the skeleton buried at the site that had previously been believed to be male. After the DNA tests came back, it became conclusive that the bones belonged to a woman, and so many began to claim that there were a large number of female warriors due to this one gravesite. The truth is, archaeologists have long since been aware of female Viking warriors, as the Vikings were merely a small subset of the Scandinavian population. They focused on raiding and seafaring for their livelihoods. This meant that those who could participate in the raids were mostly a diverse group of Scandinavians that were made up of farmers, craftsmen, nobles, merchants, and others that put large investment into the construction of a seafaring craft to undergo their raiding adventures. Unfortunately, female Viking warriors were few and far between. The recovery of the gravesite showed archaeologists that the woman was in fact a female noble, who was buried with a variety of goods, and not that of a warrior's grave. The site also included a number of board games, horses, and other crafted Scandinavian goods. Overall, for every 1,500 Viking grave sites, roughly only one female site has been uncovered, pointing more closely to the belief that the wives stayed home to tend to the farm or other goods, while the men left to join the raids and bring back a number of goods.
But what do you think of all these ancient Viking mysteries that experts are trying to better understand in the modern day? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working towards solving these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching. Thank you.